Hi, in this episode I'm going to show you how to take heads off, switch heads, and change backgrounds in Photoshop. I'm going to use the oldest version of Photoshop that uh, most people still use, which is Adobe Photoshop 7. Um, right, so this version includes everything the other versions pretty much include, but just in case um, you won't say I'm using a version that has a feature that an older version doesn't have because this feature is pretty much the the or I'm sorry this version of Photoshop Photoshop 7 is pretty much the standard uh, uh, with in terms of features okay okay so first we have to locate the image that um, we're going to use as the base image and the first image that we're going to um, switch ahead on Okay, so let's see. Let's try this one here. Okay, open with Photoshop. Okay, image of President Obama. Okay, um, so what we're going to do, we're going to switch his head out with another one and change the background to another background, perhaps um, an American flag or so. Okay, so I have another image here. You could also just drag it into Photoshop, it'll work the same way, okay? So we have an image of Sarah Palin. Alrighty. Okay. Now, when switching heads, you don't um, really have to cut his head out. You could always just put someone's head over it, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and drag her image over his, right? As you can see, this image is much bigger than, than the image with Obama on it, so we have to shrink it to size. So what I'm doing here, I'm hitting Control T, which is a, a short way to enter the transform feature. Okay, Control T, and also, um, uh, if you press down on Shift, once it it's um, it looks like this, it keeps it uh, to an aspect ratio, right? Because if you don't do this, you might get something like this, right? Which is what you don't want. Okay, so then I'm holding down Shift, so it remains proportional okay and then I hit enter when I'm done now to really be able to measure um, if I have Sarah Palin's head um, uh, to the same dimension of Obama's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, um, adjust the opacity feature on on Sarah Palin's head uh, which makes the image transparent like this Okay. Okay. So the reason I'm going to do this is so when I hit Control T again, the transform feature, I'm able to see if I'm shrinking too much or too little. Okay, that seems just about right. Okay. So then I hit Enter, and then I adjust the opacity again to 100%. And now, what I want to do is remove Sarah Palin's background here. Okay, now there's many ways you could do this. The quickest and easiest way, but really depends on the image's background colors, is here under the Erase tool, Magic Eraser. So Magic Eraser um, attracts all the same colors of an image um, in order to remove... Uh, that color from the frame. Okay, the tolerance could be adjusted here. Okay, that means here we have a very uh, high tolerance, right? But if we lower the tolerance, let's say like if we go back and instead of 32 we had 5, then it would really um, be very careful in, in, in just in just lumping any color together, right? 
Okay, but let's go back to 32. I think that worked a little better. Okay, I'm going to undo this. 32, all right. Okay. So I think that's pretty good. We could even do it here under the trees, even though it's going to miss some pieces. All right. She has a little chip in her shoulder here. Okay. Do it to the red, the white. Okay. So what we missed, you go back to the eraser tool, click the regular eraser tool, uh, adjust the size here, and just start erasing. Now, if you made it this far in the tutorial, or at least if you're trying to figure out how to remove heads, you would at least have to become familiar with the layers tool, right? Or with the layers feature. You see, in this image, there are two layers. There's one layer, which is the image of Sarah Palin, and then there's the other layer, which is the image of Obama, right? Here's Obama layer. Here's Sarah Palin. Here's Sarah Palin's layer without Obama. Okay. And the order that the layers appear on this section here is the order that they appear here. Like if you notice, we don't have Ob Obama in, in front of Palin, but actually Palin in front of Obama because Palin's on top here and Obama's on the bottom. Okay, okay we're going to zoom in. And with, again, this eraser tool, we're going to go ahead and remove any excess from Sarah Palin's picture. Okay, also the control feature, the transform feature, I'm sorry, control T, allows you to tilt the image left or right, just so it could fit perfect. I'm going to go ahead and enlarge it a little bit more here, yeah. Okay, all right. Continue with the erase tool. Okay. There's other tools you can use for this, but this is the simplest. Okay. Now, to work around the color here what we're gonna do we're gonna apply the opacity adjustment on Sarah Palin's picture just so it makes it a bit transparent so we could uh, find the outline of Obama's color here so what we're gonna do um, yeah we're gonna go ahead and just work around this color here okay I'll show you the tool that I just picked right here. Hold on one second. Okay, so once I have that outlined with this, I picked the um, the this one, the second option here. The uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Polygonal lasso tool. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to hit delete. It's going to delete that portion that was uh, overlapping on his collar. I'm going to do the same thing right here. Okay. Hit delete. And I'm also going to take off this piece right here. Great. Oops. And remove any excess with the uh, eraser tool. Okay, so far so good. I'm going to put opacity to 100% again. Now, you notice there is uh, some space here on the collar. What we're going to do, we're going to kind of smudge her skin into here to fill in that gap. Okay, so we have the smudge tool here selected, right? And then we're just going to um, 
click and drag click and drag click and drag okay it's fine I mean it doesn't have to be so neat because we're gonna go back and uh, sharpen it up here a bit when we're done okay so now we're gonna go back with the second option here the second option the second lasso tool option uh, and redo that step here but just cutting off the excess okay there we go okay so that's pretty much it uh, for switching heads now to switch the background okay we're gonna select Obama's layer here and again we're going to use the magic eraser tool and hit this uh, sky background here and that's going to automatically remove any colors that match right and what we're going to do we're going to find a flag online to put behind this picture okay so i'm going to go ahead and open up uh, firefox here okay go under images type in US flag uh, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo -doo. let's see let's find a pretty flag here um, I guess this will work okay so we'll right click on it click save image as we'll just save it onto our desktop here go back to the desktop just go ahead and drag it into Photoshop here okay it opens it in a new window that's fine so what we want to do is we want this image to appear behind uh, the building here so what we're gonna do we're just gonna click the move tool here and just drag it over okay right now it's in between layers as you can see it's between the Obama and Sarah Palin layer but we want it to be completely behind the Obama layer so what we're going to do, we're going to just drag it under the Obama layer. Okay. So now you have a picture of the flag. Now what we're going to do, uh, you see there's some empty space here. We're just going to go ahead and fill that in with white. So I'm just going to uh, click on the flag layer and use the paint bucket. Make sure I'm on white and just click on it. All right. It's not the best match so that won't look. What we're going to do then is uh, make sure the, the flag layer is selected and use the smudge tool. Uh, adjust the size of the smudge tool a little and then just smudge down. Okay. That mixes it pretty, pretty nice there. And there you go. You have a picture with um, Sarah Palin's head, Obama's body, uh, in front of an American flag. Thank you, and for more tutorials, please visit dollardemo.net. Thank you.